Now, this is a government stuffed full of the gruesome and the ghoulish. People whose political careers have been founded essentially on human misery. Now, I don't think that's an exaggeration. Throughout the 13-year life, it's been a long 13 years, of this government, it's been based on whipping up bigotry and targeting countless vulnerable groups, benefit claimants, disabled people, migrants, refugees, Muslims, trans people. We really could go on. And no politician epitomizes building their political career solely from making the life of people in, let's be honest, very, very difficult circumstances even more difficult and making citizens fear and hate them more. No one is more guilty of this than Suella Braverman. Let's just talk about Braverman's latest fiasco. Last summer, the current Home Secretary, which is ridiculous, Suella Braverman, who was then Attorney General, that is Chief Legal Advisor to the government, was caught speeding. Now, she was given an option. Either she pay the fine with points on her licence or do a speed awareness course. Now, what did this minister allegedly do? She allegedly asked her civil servants to help arrange a course without any other participants, just one-on-one, -on -one, because she knew they'd go, hang on a minute, isn't that the Attorney General who's here with us because she's been caught speeding? And probably get a fair whack from some tabloid or other from leaking said information. Now, the allegations are that the civil servants refused to do so. Why, you ask? Because it's bro grossly improper. It's a personal issue. What the hell does she think she's doing, asking civil servants to arrange a one-on-one -on -one, um, speeding awareness course to avoid personal embarrassment? So she ended up paying the fine. Now, let's just listen to what Braverman says. Last summer, I was speeding. I regret that. I paid the fine and I took the points. Uh, but we're focused now on delivering for the British people and did, working did, for them. Did you ask civil servants to put you on a one-on-one -on -one speeding course? In relation to the process, I'm focused on delivering for the British people, do my job would as you Home Secretary. Would you what I will say is that, in my view, I'm confident that nothing untoward has happened. If you're going to be slippery, be good at it. I, I'm not asking for much. It's just incompetent slipperiness we're seeing on display from Suella Braverman. Now, if she hadn't have tried to get civil servants to arrange a one-on-one -on -one speed awareness meeting, she would just say so, wouldn't she? Why else would she not? Why would she just go, oh, I don't think anything improper has happened? She'd just go, of course I didn't. No, 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 no. Those allegations are completely untrue. That never happened. I'm sorry I sped. I paid a fine. But she didn't do that. She has answered the question with her refusal to answer the question. Clearly, she did what she's alleged to do. Otherwise, why on earth would she not say otherwise? Preposterous. Now, let's just listen to the former Tory Attorney General, Attorney General Dominic Grieve on this. Really, the, the points are not a serious issue. The, the serious issue is that it was grossly improper of her to ask her civil servants to intervene in any way in what was a completely private personal matter and to seek to get some advantage through them to have uh, go on a course when she didn't have to participate with others. And as Attorney General and also as Home Secretary, she should not have done that. Well, there's lots I could say about Dominic Greaves' career and the things he voted for, but on this is, of course, spot on. And as a firm, former Attorney General, it's worth listening uh, to what he said, just to be clear about what the rules are and how these things should be settled. Now, a little recap with Braverman, who styles herself as chief um, crusader against wrongdoing. Wrongdoing, of course, from those who are seen as undesirable. Now, she was forced, of course, to resign from Liz Truss's government because she sent an official document to her personal email. Not once, not twice, not three times, but six times. But specifically, that was only uncovered because she tried to send an email to a Tory backbencher but accidentally sent it to the wrong person who then raised the alarm. A basic violation, obviously, of government security, of the ministerial code. And I'm sorry, but you really do have to question the basic competence of any minister who would think that is in any way appropriate. Now, having to be forced out of Liz Truss's government for wrongdoing is quite the achievement. She was only in power for seven weeks. She then returns government very soon afterwards for one reason alone because she backed Rishi Sunak. Now, Rishi Sunak, lots of, I can say against him. Not a stupid person. You know, you should always be accurate in your critique of those who you oppose. He's not stupid. He's not thick. He's not an idiot. He's got terrible right-wing politics, which are doing horrendous harm to this country. But he obviously knows that Suella Braverman is completely and utterly unsuitable 
for not only the office she's in, but for any office. Just a ludicrous appointment, which is damning enough of Rishi Sunak and his judgment. Why did he put her there? Very straightforward. He wanted to stop Boris Johnson returning to number 10. And at the time, the way to do that was to get as many conservative right-wingers as possible, including Suella Braverman, a frothing at the mouth right-winger, to back him. That was fundamental to getting Boris Johnson out of the race. So he did this purely for cynical personal ends in order to advance his own career, putting someone completely and utterly dangerously stupid in charge of the Home Office just so he could become Prime Minister. What a jerk. Now, with the current fiasco, it's obviously the cover-up, which is the real crime, as is often the case. I mean, it gets worse. A fellow Tory MP last month denounced, denounced a lamentable hopelessness and said that in a meeting with the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority, she raised whether a speeding ticket incurred during the course of parliamentary duties could be claimed on expenses. Rather embarrassing, he says, the representatives from IPSA who said no. <laughs> incredible. Just incredible behaviour. Now, Sunak, who, as I need to just keep emphasising, only appointed her for very cynical, opportunistic reasons, is now consulting his ethics advisor on what has happened. Now, a source in Parliament, according to a right-wing uh, journalist, walked past a very senior Tory MP telling a Labour MP that Suella Braverman is stupid and incompetent. But, of course, I mean, I think generally a precondition for high office, as things stand. More broadly, though, she's after Rishi Sunak's job. I mean, you can see that, by the way, she's freestyling or freewheeling, whatever the appropriate term is. She did a wide-ranging speech at the National Conservative Conference, which was a complete freak show full of people coming up with horrendous hard-right politics, including anti-Semitic tropes, talking about globalists and the like, the like um, and cultural Marxism and how the only be um, appropriate building block of a society is a man and a woman who stay together regardless for the sake of the kids. Um, I mean, I've got, I did a video on the sorts of things that was uttered at that horrendous um, farce. Not farce, well, it was just indicative of the future of the Conservative Party. Anyway, she did a wide-ranging speech well outside of brief. She clearly must be Prime Minister. She's obviously briefing to the media that her migrant-bashing proposals are being blocked uh, by government. Um, now, if the Tories lose, which is likely, then she's very likely, or has a very good shot at becoming leader of the Conservative Party and reshaping them into the likes of kind of a Hungarian style uh, where you have Fidesz, which has become a far-right party, or the Republicans in the United States doesn't accept democratic principles and norms, that kind of thing. I think it's tragic this is what imperils her career, um, rather than the human misery. Um, the government have closed legal and safe routes for the vast majority of people fleeing, often desperate circumstances. That's why we've had a rise in people coming in boats. And regardless of circumstances, they are, she calls them an invasion. People have been tortured and raped and suffered horrendous brutality. The vast majority of us could never even imagine. All of them to be deported, regardless of the circumstances that brought them to our shores. Um, the constant demonising of desperate, desperate people for our own political ends. That is the real damning indictment of Suella Braverman. And it's that cruelty for which she should be damned rather than her more general obnoxious behaviour in office. But let's be honest, this could be the future, not just of the Conservative Party, but who knows, of the country as a whole. I thought I'd just cheer you up on that note. Please like, subscribe, do support us on patreon.com forward slash I'll see you in a bit.